Damage from Helene, which just moved through that region, is just indescribable all across the southeast, and the death toll is continuing to go up. At least 84 people across multiple states have now been killed, and as ABC's Christiane Cordero reports, some people are still missing. After making landfall in Florida Thursday night, Helene traveled inland, dumping as much as 30 inches of rain in the North Carolina mountains, causing life-threatening floods and at least a dozen landslides. I don't think anyone was prepared for it. I don't think anyone thought it would be this bad. The governor says more than 500 National Guard members are now working alongside local emergency responders. Conducting search and rescue missions, delivering needed supplies, and working to restore infrastructure. Asheville experiencing what officials are calling biblical devastation. In Swannanoa, roads washed out, many businesses a total loss. This is looking to be Buncombe County's own Hurricane Katrina. The city's water system severely damaged. Repairs could take weeks. A boil water advisory is in effect for those with water. In Tennessee, homes and businesses also destroyed. Video from above shows entire neighborhoods underwater. And in Virginia's Pulaski County, this large debris field floating in flood water. In Florida's Big Bend region, where Helene made landfall as a powerful Category 4 storm, massive cleanup efforts are underway. This is to my whole life. But we will come back. FEMA director Deanne Criswell tells CBS the federal government has the resources to help with the recovery. We're hearing significant infrastructure damage to water systems, communication, roads, critical transportation routes, as well as several homes that have been just destroyed by this. Um, but we will continue to bring those resources in to help them. Chris, while stressing the recovery from Helene will be complicated. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.